Good morning, everybody. So we've got a little bit of an experiment that we're working on this morning. So this here is a LS2 90 millimeter silver blade throttle body. And this over here, that is a brand new gold blade 90 millimeter throttle body, which would be commonly used on an LS3. And it's long been reported that you really can't get gold blade throttle bodies to function correctly on the older operating systems. So this car has like a P01 computer or a 411 uh, PCM. Um, I'm hearing that there's some tricks that you can do in HP tuners to possibly make the gold blade work. So we're gonna give that a try and see if it does work. First thing I want to do is show you guys the throttle opening and closing so that we can maybe see. Throttle body's still hooked up. I'm going to key on but not start it. We're going to check the sweep of the blade in the silver blade throttle body. All right, so we could see the functionality of that guy. Now I'm gonna go ahead and unhook this connector, get this guy unbolted and put the other one in. Then we'll give it a test without making an adjustment first. The gold blade's bolted on and I've got the electrical connector hooked up. I did not make any changes to the wiring. Um, I've seen some posts on the forum saying that this has to be, uh, a couple of wires have to be swapped. And I've heard other guys say that no, it doesn't have to be. So we're gonna key on, not running, power it up again and see what the sweep looks like. Okay, so that was pushing the throttle all the way open and it did look like it actually does over travel a little bit. So we're gonna grab the laptop and we're gonna make some settings, settings changes to this and uh, see if it actually makes a visible difference in the throttle blade. All right, we're gonna go into engine and I'm already there. So it's airflow, electronic throttle, and then here where it says max rotation, we're gonna go verse pedal. And anywhere that it says 100, we're gonna change it to 96.8. Uh, from what I've seen, we don't have to worry about this table. It's just uh, verse pedal. So let's just go here. 96.8. I don't know why that number was uh, derived for this. Oh, I'm running out of f fingers. You've got mail. Then we're going to go equals. Okay. Close that. Close. Any changes I do, I pretty much make a new file.
Okay, let's load this and then see what it does. Okay, we got our settings changed. Now I'm gonna go turn the key back on and we're gonna observe and see if it, uh, the blade looks like it's going to 100% instead of 110%. So that definitely looked better, just from what I can see. I'm only be, I'm watching it on my cell phone screen. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish installing this, and then we will go ahead and uh, start the car up and see how it idles, and then uh, maybe we'll take her for a drive. But so far, I have a feeling that this is gonna work. Um, I could actually see taking a few more percent out of it, and I don't think it would hurt anything at all. It's definitely plenty wide open. So let me get that put back together, and we'll go from there. All right, we're going to open up our scanner. Close that log. And we're going to log our first start with the gold blade. Gold start. So we're going to connect. I'm a little bit scrunched up here because I got computers and cameras. Okay, we're connected. Okay, so I can see the TPS showing 20% and it goes to 96 instead of 100. That's awesome. No reduced engine power message going to full throttle. Cycle the fuel pump once and then we'll try and crank it. Okay, we're still connected. It definitely didn't like that cold start for some reason, so we'll have to kind of play around with that a little bit. But I was able to get it to run and idle. We'll let it warm up here just a second. I do have this set up to uh, go into closed loop, but I've got it set to uh, like 150 degrees before it'll en enable. So I think we're ready to go out and drive it and uh, let's see what this does. So a couple of the anomalies that we had, obviously you saw earlier in the video. This thing was kind of a pain in the butt to get started, but it did clear up. 
Um, I noticed when I first started driving it uh, to go out on a test drive that the idle was off a little bit. Don't know why. Didn't change anything in the tune that would affect that. I think it was just a matter of putting the gold blade in. Uh, the idle was down around 700, maybe 750. I have it set for 800. The next thing I noticed was that my rolling idle, which I have gotten to work on this car, was not working with the gold blade. So that made it kind of a pain in the butt when you're trying to come to a stop and it was wanting to surge real bad. And it actually did die on me once. Restarted fine. And then the third thing that I noticed early on in my test drive, even though the car was warmed up, was that the trims were off quite a bit. More than, they're not normally off. They're usually off plus minus five. Um, they were off like 15. One side might have even been off 20. Still driving fine and the air fuel was fine, but the trims were off. I made no changes to the tune. All I did was a couple of different key cycles. Um, had to get some fuel and uh, drop the package off at the post office quick and out of nowhere idle started working just fine rolling idle started working just fine and the trims were back pretty much where they belong now the trims could be off just a little bit there is a difference in that throttle body the throat of it is different the blade operates differently so it might not be a bad idea for me to go out and do a little bit of um, VE table tuning just make sure that it's good and efficient but I just thought it was odd that it had those anomalies on the first run early on in the test drive. And then I made no changes to the tune and maybe made a couple of two or three key cycles and it started behaving itself. That, that kind of stuff is frustrating and, and unusual for things you gotta deal with when tuning LS motors. Man. Some water asses literally flying circles over the house for some reason. So, I did verify, um, so the peak throttle opening, let me see if I can do this with one hand. So 96.8 was what we had it set at. Ten point six psi, but most importantly, this is what we were looking for right here. A measly thirteen degrees of timing in this thing still, and no spark retard. So that's good. Um, I did earlier in this log. I hit traction control a couple of times on purpose. On this pull, the traction control was turned off. Um, none of which caused any problems even hitting traction control it never so far i have never hit uh reduced engine power with the ls3 throttle body so that's good do i say it works 100 percent? i don't know yet it's too early to tell but i'm confident at least to the point where i don't uh, have any problems driving it around to get some more seat time with it Some things to note, uh, custom application obviously, barely enough clearance to make this thing fit in here. You can see the electrical connector is only about uh, maybe not quite a quarter of an inch away from the blower pulley. This is reversed on a from a silver blade to a gold blade. So this motor piece would be back here and the electrical connector would be up here. Um, I'm comfortable with that though. I don't foresee it being any problems because all those pieces move with each other. So I think I've shown everything that needs to be shown. I just need to get some more seat time in it. Maybe get her on a dyno. And uh, we'll make sure that it never gives reduced engine power. Like I said earlier in the video, the silver blades are somewhat notorious for eventually 
giving reduced engine power as they get older, get some miles on them. And uh, it's just, it's a massive pain in the ass to deal with. When it went into reduced engine power on me, I didn't have anywhere to pull over. The thing's trying to die on you because it goes into limp mode. It barely wants to run. It won't idle. And you gotta, you know, get it to a point where you can, at the minimum, cycle the key on and off to reset the reduced engine power. And it also puts check engine light on. But all that's gone, cleared up, and uh, not to make a long story even longer, but after I did get that one reduced engine power with the silver blade throttle body, I've since driven it like three or 400 miles and it's never came back. So that's kind of a pain in the ass, but I don't trust it either. I want to be able to get in this car and drive it across the country. It needs to be that reliable. So if this gold blade can prove itself, fine. It's a great throttle body. It was 265 bucks, I think. They've gone up a bit. A year ago, you could probably get a gold blade for 180 bucks, brand new, GM. But 265 at uh, Summit Racing. Probably one of the best deals I could find on a gold blade that was actually in stock. If you have any experience uh, running a gold blade on your LS, early LS platform, P01 computer, uh, let me know what you've uh, experienced and put it down in the comments below. I'm curious to know. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns on this installation, I'll also put those down in the comments below and uh, we'll get to them as best we can. We'll see you on the next one.